Okay, one of the first things you want to do after you've taken your tensiometer out of the package or out of the box uh, is you want to um, set it up. And the first thing is uh, you've got your platform here, your sample platform. You want to get that out of the way. You'll notice you have a, a locking clamp that holds the vertical ring in place and you've got two screws that immobilize the torsion arm. So you want to insert the Donoi ring into the position uh, on the vertical arm. And we want to make sure that the platform is out of the way so we don't damage the ring. So in this case we just slide it up into position and it's there. And notice that the clamping lock, <clears throat> the clamp is in place and we have our two screws for immobilizing the torsion arm. Now that the ring is in place we can go ahead and we can loosen the clamp so that the vertical arm can move freely and we open that all the way up. And we also go ahead and we position the screws so that there's freedom of movement for the torsion arm. So at this point, what we want to focus on is we're going to be focusing on the mirror as well as the vernier and the dial and the clamping lock for the dial. So one of the first things we do is we want to determine um, the calibration of the tensiometer. And one of the ways that we do this is, is uh, using a piece of paper, in this case it's about uh, uh, two inches long and a quarter inch uh, wide, just enough for size so we can gently put it inside the tensiometer or inside the Denoy ring, and you can see it applies some weight. Now, what we want to do is we want to focus on bringing back the needle with the line on the mirror. In this case, we go ahead and we we bring it to a position where it's just in place. Now notice when we do that we were looking at the mirror and the needle but now the vernier and the dial are not aligned. Zero and zero are not aligned so what we do is we unscrew the clamp and we go ahead and we turn the dial so that it matches zero to zero on the vernier and on the dial. And then we go ahead and we can lock this in place which is very important. At this point to calibrate it, there are suggested weights, however, we're just using a piece of uh, metal that we've typically used and we know the weight. So, again, we would put the weight on top of the paper, and again, we'll notice that there's movement on the needle with respect to the line in the mirror. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust so that we get the needle. Uh, to a set position here, okay. In this case, so we line it up. Okay. And in this case, we have a set weight, and we know we expect a certain Dines per centimeter reading to occur. So in this case, we know that we are calibrated at this point with the line in the mirror and also with the vernier and the Dines per centimeter reading.